So Intel Core i5-7200U and i7-7500U are two very popular Intel's processor and a lot of people are searching it. So I'm going to go through uh, quick uh, differences between them and because they belong to the same category it's very easy to spot out the difference between them looking at their specifications uh, so both of them are have two cores with a hyper threading enabled that means they have four core four threads could be running simultaneously that gives a little bit more performance compared to if they had did not have the hyper threading the key difference is the clock speed because they are the same architecture they belong to the same family we have 2.5 gigahertz versus 2.7 gigahertz a little less than 20 percent close to around 17 or 18 percent of the clock uh, difference and that's where the key uh, difference in their performance will come about when you uh, go into the turbo uh, Clock, if you look at the turbo clock frequency, it's 3.1 GHz versus 3.5 GHz, and the difference here gets a little larger, um, like a 400 MHz, which will be uh, a little higher than the normal clock, uh, clock frequency difference. And in the turbo, you have a sudden demand in the processing power, and it jumps up the and clock frequency of its uh, both these cores and then that's how it quickly performs this uh, computation and comes back to the normal clock frequency uh, while keeping its 15 watt thermal envelope so the turbo basically the way it works is it temporarily increases the clock frequency uh, let's say the processor is not consuming more than 15 watt and it's normally cooler but it can take more power momentarily not allowing the processor to heat too much so we can see a little better performance in i7-7500U because of the turbo core uh, another uh, I think I, I I messed up this one we should have 3 MB L3 cache, cache here and 4 MB L3 cache here uh, this is another uh, way how i7 could be faster with, by providing a faster L3 cache memory. Uh, both of them they have the same integrated graphics, HD graphics 620, and we see nominal increase in the turbo clock frequency from 1.1 gigahertz to 1.05 gigahertz, giving 5% extra inform, uh, extra processing power. Uh, about the same. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, this is a quite older processor and currently Intel has Ice Lake, this KB Lake is quite late. Now we have an Ice Lake processor and Intel is going to launch the Tiger Lake processor. On the other hand, we have AMD has come up with the Ryzen 2 processor. They are much faster, much cooler and uh, possibly outsmarting these processor by like a factor of at least twice and maybe more if you go to e AMD Ryzen processors. Um, the Ryzen 4X processor, for example, they have they are coming up with eight cores, uh, and that significantly outsmarts anything. So if you are have not purchased any processor or not seen, just take a look at the Ryzen 2 processors from AMD. Uh, you will not be disappointed as far as the processing power is concerned with their speed with which they perform. We, we, these differences are reflected in the benchmark of 354 versus 308. Again, these numbers are swapped. So we have 354 for i7 versus 308 for i5 7200. Same thing here. We are looking at 15% to 20% performance difference, and that's the same for integrated graphics. You can see i7-7500U is a little higher here. Uh, the path mark score is also reflected into it. So this is a very quick overview. Uh, if you if you see that the price differences between the laptop you have or you are going to buy is substantial, you can 
um, stick with I5-7200, you should not see a much draw feel, uh, much uh, drop in the performance, but they have a similar price uh, offering, then probably it's better to go with I7-7500. Thanks.